Get me Jr. on the phone. Welcome back. It's the Scott Cox Show. It's Curtin. Look, I knew I was going to have a good day today. It was kind of a done deal. Uh, and we uh, were talking yesterday, uh, uh, Bill Stevenson, that guy uh, from uh, Career Services Center, we were, he, he said, you know, uh, Kevin McCarthy's got this job fair thing. I'm like, what? And I thought, wait a minute, that kind of makes sense because isn't the whole uh, job of these clowns anyway to be trying to scrape up jobs for people uh, who desperately need them? Uh, and t- so I thought, well, let's get it right from the source and see what's going on with uh, Kevin McCarthy. And uh, uh, he joins us on the program. Mr. McCarthy, how are you? I'm doing well. And yourself? I'm fired up for dodgeball. That's <laughs> Frankly, that's all I can think about right now. Connor brought that up to me the other day. He goes, hey, the dodgeball tournament's back on. Yeah, and are, are you going to be in town? You know, what day it is it? It's uh, the 20, oh, and I got it. It's a 27th, I think. Yeah, Saturday, oh, March 27th. Yeah, you know what? Okay, this is what he brought up. Yeah, so I'm in t- town, but I've got Carl Rove in town doing an event for my reelection campaign. I'm sorry, what was that? I couldn't hear you over the sound of the chickens clucking. Carl <laughs> Rove, really? Yeah. That's it? You're blowing off the Boys and Girls Club for that guy? No, no, I'm still hosting a team. And Connor is going to go Hosting down there, a and team? his buddies are going to play again. Oh, that's disappointing. But it depends what time, because it's uh, mine's a lunch. Right. You know, if I started off early and got kicked out of the game early, then I'd uh, be you right. know that's I might be able happen. to get one game in. Unless you buy off the Boys and Girls Club like you did last time to keep your uh, keep out of my bracket so that we don't knock you out early. <laughs> Whatever that works out. Well, we, we should have, okay, we should think of some type of fundraiser for Boys and Girls Club that your team plays my team first. And right. People can, I don't know, somehow can, they can get People get can money gamble on it or something, out. and we'll give away, a, I don't know, a, a, and all the proceeds will go to the Boys and Girls Club. We've been yeah. saying that. For, I'll, I'll, we'll actually have to sit down and figure this you out. You know what? We should put an all-star team together, your team and my My team's team. already an all-star team. Well, okay, and I'll go out and get some others. That's like uh, saying the 27 Yankees, well, how many of them made the all-star team? They were the all-star <laughs> team. Okay, well, let's try to do that. That would All be right. a good idea. Yeah, I'm down. Anything to help the Boys and Girls Club. Yeah, and as you know, I just, I just like playing dodgeball because I'm essentially a giant child. I love dodgeball. Oh, don't I? Don't I'm I, not good at it, but I like playing it. Uh, you know what? Again, I got a nephew or so much better. There's nothing because uh, politicians lie all the time, and I could just to straighten the, just to level the the ledger here. You're actually a pretty good dodgeball player, dude. Well, I enjoy it's a contact sport, so it's fun. But, yeah, you're I, you're probably better at it than anybody else say in Congress. Let's put it that way. <laughs> you could probably take like Gerald Nadler or uh, you know, there are some professional athletes in Congress. Though, Wrangle, so I, I don't know. Yeah, there, yeah, there's some guys that might not be too, uh, be yeah. too bad. I don't know. Well, what's up with the uh, what's up with the job fair? And first of all, <laughs> a way to a way to think this one through and actually do something about it and help people get actual jobs. That's the kind of that's the kind of action we need. Well, I appreciate it and. and I'm excited about this. It's going to be Monday, March 8th, from 11 to 2 p.m. at the Marriott at the Convention Center. We now have 78 either employers or colleges that will be there. So come, treat it like you're interviewing, dress properly, bring a resume, but there is an opportunity. You may have a job, maybe you're under, underemployed, looking f- to move up, come, f- come for that reason. You may know somebody that needs a job. Come in, and there's an opportunity here from all different walks of life, from health care um, to financial services to um, you name it, all the way to China Lake Naval Weapons Center. There's something for everyone. Nice. And first of all, thank you for uh, being aware of the underemployment problem because too many – it's tough – when there's, when there's people that don't have a gig at all, that it's really easy to, to feel bad for those people. But there's a tremendous number of people in this country who are out there and they've lost their high-paying gig and they're just busting their hump at some regular Joe job and they're circling the drain and trying to keep the lights on. And it's yeah. a brutal thing to go through right now. And, it, and the reason people don't want to pay attention to them is because it kind of keeps them off the books. Those people don't count as unemployed. Exactly. And, you know, in a down economy, you're going to take what you can get to keep paying the bills. But let's see if there's a a job you can move up that you're qualified, and uh, if we could be assistance, we want to make sure that happens. Why don't you just do it the uh, Democrat way and just uh, give them government jobs? Because <laughs> then they'll come back a year later and say we're totally in debt and we're going to raise your taxes and we got to borrow more money and the country goes a whole different direction. That's a good point. And and this is is this going to be an ongoing series of things or is this just something you thought you'd try it and see how it no, worked we're out? Gonna, we're going to we want this to be successful, but we're going to continue to do this. Yeah, well, and the, um, great, the cool thing is you do it this first time and you kind of get an idea how you can maybe fine-tune this and do it a little bit differently or a little yeah, bit better. Yeah, it's, it's the very first time. And I, I've got to tell you, to have 78 um, entities 
participating, I didn't think we can get that many. I, so yeah, I was really surprised. I, I'm very hopeful. How did you do that? How did you shake those people down? Did they just? Did you just put the word out and they all volunteered, or did you have we, to lean we, on we, people? We worked collaboratively with the uh, employer training resource. I, we called a lot of the business. We called a lot of small business. Hey, are you looking? Here's an opportunity. And we've just been trying to put the word out. Well, it's if you got seventy eight people there, and what's the what's the college angle on this? Is their deal to like get well, people? Well, I've got get a people couple to, different. What happens too is somebody may be applying for a job. Maybe they're underemployed. Uh, maybe they need a little more training. Right. So it's all about upward movement and employment. Uh, maybe they've been trying and they said they can't. So I've got a couple um, colleges there that they can maybe they can take a course or something they need, or maybe they need to improve. So it's all the combination of getting jobs. Awesome, and uh, and the fact that this is a, a private sector uh, answer to this giant problem is a pretty that's that, that's private a pretty good sector. Too. It's free; you don't have to RSVP. So if you know of any friends or the need it, come on down, or yourself, come on down. And the great thing is, this doesn't even seem like a big expensive thing to do. It just you just kind of no, put the you, word you, out. You rent the room at the hotel. Uh, they put up, um, you know, each one will have their own little space going in there, and um, just getting the message. I appreciate you letting us go on because um, I try to save money. You know, it's essentially uh, what it what it comes down to is is really really simple. There are people who help me with my fundraiser for Operation Interdependence every year in June, and those people can come on any time they want. Uh, and I don't care that you're a congressman at all, or that you got this. Uh, seriously, you could be a gardener, and as long as you keep writing checks for the troops, uh, you get to come on the show any time you want. Well, thank you. I'm very upfront about okay, that. This and is hope- what we got to do. We're going to do the dodgeball game, right? And less make some award and we'll make it an annual thing all right so done. it's a continual one to see how many times i win it and it'll be marked well, i'll tell you right now none never it's not gonna i'm just i mean i don't want to be a bad guy about this but you I, have you seen my crack squadron of, of dodgeball troops it's it, we're unbeatable dude i haven't seen you win how far did you go last year i now, mean why i wasn't you have there to so bring that up first, how is that I mean. relevant to the con well we didn't win we won like uh steven how many rounds did we get through four or five or something like that yep we almost we, won yeah, we laid a we uh, laid. Well, you, you went further. I think we only went to the third round, or whatever. you know what happened last year. I don't know if you're aware of this or not. There was actually a professional team from San Diego that came up. Um, uh, because, so I'm not joking. There are people really? that there are big tournaments all over the country where these guys play and train and do the whole deal. And and they didn't know it was just a, a boys and girls club fundraiser. They thought it was an actual so they tournament. They gave it took everybody out. <laughs> oh, they just wasted every. It was uh, they were they were quite something. Uh, and we, so I think we made it to like the semifinals or I don't know. It was a really good time. And, uh, and I don't think we really learned anything from the experience, but it, it's, hey, it's for the boys and girls club. You gotta yeah. How it. do you go wrong on that? Well, yeah. I will, I will set about doing this cause that's what I need is one more activity to plan in my life right now. Um, and I'll get, and we'll figure out a way to do this. And like I said, and we'll turn it into like a big annual event. We'll make it bigger and better every year. How about that? Sounds great. All right, my friend. Well, uh, thanks for checking. And seriously, uh, Monday the 8th at the Marriott, what time is this thing going on? From 11 to 2 PM. That's a pretty good uh, time frame. Will lunch be? Will luncheon be served? You know, you raise a very good question. I'm just saying, eleven to two. I'm gonna be hungies in there somewhere. Somebody's got to hook me up. That's right, but uh, I, I don't know about that. What you're supposed <laughs> to say? Uh, just here's a little uh, radio talk, radio training for you. You're supposed to say, uh, you know, being conservatives, we are looking for ways to cut costs anywhere we can, and one of those is in wasteful food spending. That's right. So they can go right in there to the restaurant. Yeah, take and, notes and, and spur the economy. All right, K Mac, thank you. So that's a uh, uh, Congressman Kevin. Kevin, thanks for all checking right. in with us today, and I'll, well, I'll swing by that thing after uh, work on Monday. Are you going to attend that thing? Per- Personally? Yeah, no, I'll be there personally. Oh, nothing. I'll come by and just out of nowhere just hit you in the face with a dodgeball. <laughs> All right. Just as a preparatory measure. Okay. Kevin, thanks for checking in with us today, pal. I appreciate it. Uh, you know what the great thing is? He knows I'm not kidding. He knows I'll do it. In fact, uh, Stephen, don't tell anybody we're doing this, but we need to get a, two or three people together, and when Bill Stevenson comes in uh, on Wednesday, we need to have some people waiting for him right outside the door so that when he walks out, they just blast him with dodgeballs. You know what I mean?